As the fighting rides on in the Gaza Strip, Israel's war cabinet is needing to consider a new ceasefire proposal from Hamas. It's a two-step plan. In the first phase, Hamas would release Israeli women, children, the elderly, and those with health issues in exchange for up to 1,000 Palestinian prisoners. After that, both sides would agree on a date for Israel's withdrawal from Gaza, followed by the release of the remaining hostages. It's not yet clear how Israel would respond, but it's unlikely they'd order a full stop to their offensive. We are willing to pay a heavy price to bring back the hostages, but we, one thing we will not compromise, and that's our demand uh, not to stop the war until Hamas is eradicated. The new proposal was announced just one day after Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer suggested Israel hold new elections, a direct shot at Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Those comments prompting significant criticism from Israeli officials. Even Benny Gantz, Netanyahu's political rival, called Schumer's suggestion, quote, incorrect and unacceptable. The Biden administration now distancing itself from Schumer's remarks, saying he was speaking for himself, not the White House. I'm sure that they fully understand that he speaks for himself. Uh, he's obviously someone we're in close contact with, but uh, it's not a statement from the executive branch. Meanwhile, the U.S. released the final draft of a U.N. resolution aimed at stopping the fighting in Gaza. But it's unclear when it will come up for a vote in the Security Council. In Washington, Matt Rivera, Fox News.